Hi, this is Kaden Irons, 3D Printing Application Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to answer the question, are MarkForge printed parts airtight and watertight? And in order to do that, we printed a series of pressure vessels that we're going to place under compressed air to see how these parts perform. Let's get started. So we printed four pressure vessels on our X7 3D printer out of onyx material at wall thicknesses ranging from 2 millimeters to 5 millimeters. And the goal was to place these parts under pressure using compressed air to see if they will leak. The design of these pressure vessels did take some thought and planning using SOLIDWORKS for the CAD portion. The vessel had to be designed in such a way that no support material would be generated on the inside chamber of the part. Also, when it comes to threads, it can be advantageous to print them without supports for a cleaner thread profile, which will hopefully help improve performance and prevent leaks. Moving on to the Iger slicing software, I have the 2mm sample all sliced and ready for print out of Onyx material. You can see my print time and part costs immediately, as well as the X7 as my printer selection. Moving on to the settings, I'm printing these parts at default 100 micron layer thicknesses which we run for a majority of our Mark Forge prints. And then it is important to toggle off the supports to ensure we get the best possible printed thread quality. Lastly, we take a look at the infill settings and make sure that we are printing the part solid in this case. And then next, it's time to check our work using the internal view. This is looking great and it's ready for print. Now it's time to assemble our first test unit. I wrapped a compressed air fitting with Teflon tape and threaded it right into the printed part. No post-processing of any kind was necessary for this design. It was ready to go right off the printer. Now it's time for our first test sample. I hooked up the 5mm sample to air with a regulator close by and began introducing pressure to the part. I had no idea what to expect as far as the performance goes on a test like this, so I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. and so. We started pressure and this part made it to 25 PSI with no signs of leakage, which is impressive by itself. And then the sample made it to 50 PSI, which is at the upper end of automotive tire pressure ranges. And then still going up, it made it to 75 PSI and then an incredible 100 PSI. My air compressor could not go any higher than 100 PSI, so that was the max that I could test. I then sprayed the part down with soapy water to check for leaks, and I did not see a single leak. And I let this part sit under pressure for a good while before changing samples and it still held up. And so next was the four millimeter sample and I went through the same test criteria. We still had success. And now the three millimeter sample Again, success. And finally, I went to the two millimeter wall thickness sample. This is the thinnest sample that I tested. And I must admit, I was nervous about the two millimeter sample, so I decided to spray the part with soapy water as I ramped up pressure rather than just at the end. And incredibly, the two millimeter sample also held up to 100 PSI. That was totally unexpected. Next, I decided to try a different approach by submerging the complete assembly underwater to watch for air bubbles. And now under 100 PSI, I could see a good bit of air leaking from the air fitting itself. And then if you look close, there's a small leak coming from the interface of the printed part to the threaded air fitting. But this leak most likely could have been fixed with thread compound. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely blown away at the performance of Mark Forge parts right off the machine. Not only are the parts strong, but they're also repeatable and reliable across several test samples that we tried, all the way up from five millimeters down to two millimeter wall thicknesses. 
Each one of these parts held up under 100 PSI without leaking. That's incredible. That type of performance opens up a lot of applications, maybe in aerospace, automotive, marine applications, anywhere where fluid movement is concerned. Now if I wanted to further improve the performance of a part like this, I could use a process called vapor smoothing to improve layer adhesion and Z strength. And so that's what we could do if we wanted to take this further. But that's all we have for this video. And so I'd like to thank you for watching and be sure and check out other videos on our channel related to 3D printing and SolidWorks. And with that, we'll see you next time.